Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. We are excited to bring you this overview on ETAP 22. So let's go ahead and get started. Time domain load flow has also been improved significantly in ETAP 22. Time domain load flow itself allows you to automatically and sequentially vary the load and generation and solve the steady state power flows or a function of time. And the time can be a matter of minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, years, or multiple years. Time domain load flow essentially includes the ability to perform a quasi-dynamic load flow as well. This quasi-dynamic load flow can include the controller dynamics within the simulation, allowing you to essentially control or understand the time domain simulation from one step to another. So the steady state power flows essentially have a closed loop behavior or closed loop control behavior using the controller dynamics within the simulation. You can also plot the graphical results now for static power compensator, statcoms, VFDs, induction and synchronous motors. And we've also expanded the AC-DC element plot parameters. One of the other things that you can do in time domain power flow now is consider millisecond time scale instead of purely seconds. And we've also added the ability to include user-defined Python reports. So you can create your own report and your own plot depending upon your need or requirements from this particular simulation. Time domain load flow is invaluable when you're performing renewable energy simulations over a period of time with microgrid controllers and or power prime controllers within the same network. Time domain load flow has other applications as well, such as ports, aircraft, or any other system that has variation in a continuous manner between load and generation and that variation needs to be analyzed over a period of time including distribution system planning as well as railway power system networks. ETAP 22 has thousands of new enhancements, features and capabilities. Thank you.